Ray casting is a rendering technique used to make 3D graphics with 2D coordinates. It involves casting rays from the camera to the environment around it and draws a line to the screen corresponding to the length of the ray. Does that sound complicated? Well, too bad. That's the easiest way I can explain it. Today, I'm going to be creating one of these from scratch in Python. First, I created a Python file and made a simple window appear. Then, I created a simple minimap representing data from nested lists. Next, I added movement and rotation to the character. But after attempting a custom collision system, I realized I might be approaching this project the wrong way. So I ended up deleting my code to create a better engine. This proved to be a great decision as soon as I made it, because within around half an hour, I got success in rendering a simple room into Pygame. I got in a simple movement system and changed up the looks a bit. I also made a very basic lighting system that changes the brightness of pixels according to your distance from them. You may or may not have noticed, but the scene looks off in some sort. That's because of this neat mathematical error we have to deal with called the fisheye effect. This makes everything look distorted in an oval shape from the camera, which mathematically makes sense. The parts that are closer to the camera should be rendering as longer lines. While trying to fix this, I found a guy on the internet who had no idea what he was doing, but somehow figured it out using trigonometry. He never explained how to do it. So I tried to do it myself, which produced some interesting bugs, to say the least. But alas, I found out what I needed to do, and everything was looking normal. I ended off the project by doing a stress test of a fairly large map, which performed pretty well. I even figured out a better method for doing collisions, which was way easier to make than the one previously. And the reason I didn't use Pygame for collisions was to prevent the project from becoming dependent on the module. I wanted all of the math to be purely Python, and the graphics could be done with any library out there. I just personally prefer the way that Pygame handles drawing compared to other modules.